Okay, what I'd like to do now is take the next step. This is what our document looks like. Okay. I'm going to do some basic things now. And um, those basic things are going to lay out, going to size. We're going to change the size of the book. We'll make it six by nine. You, you can wait to do this. You don't have to do this until now, but um, I figure why not? I like editing when it's a little bit bigger on the screen. Anyway, whole document. See, next thing I need to do is change the margins, the whole document. Okay. I always, I leave it at one at the top, 0.7 at the bottom. Now, hit, this is important, multiple pages, mirror images. This is when you have a book called Mirror Images. It says, it says inside and outside instead of left and right. So the inside is what's along the binding. Okay, and let's make that nine. And let's make this, for simplicity, let's make that 0.7 for the whole document. Now you'll see what happens. It spreads out. And you can see how when you're on this document, this is the this is where the binding is. It's clearer if you go here. Uh, page two and page three. This is where the binding is, and this is the outside. Now you're going to say, wait a minute. This looks pretty awful, this being this. Okay? And here's what you have to do. If you do this for both the odd pages and the even pages, but you only have to do it once. If you change the margins, and one thing, by the way, when you get a proof from, from KDP, check the margins to make sure the inside margin is big enough, okay? The longer the book, the bigger that has to be. Um, so I I have the margins as left point, uh, out, uh, inside 0. 0.9 and outside 0. 0.7. Okay, that means this is a six inch wide 0. 0.9, 5.1, 0. 0.7, um, is 4.4. That means this is 4.4. Why do I need to know that? Simple. Remember, 4.4. So I go in here and I do exactly the same thing I would do in the text, which is I go to paragraph. Okay. Let's go to tabs. Clear them all. See, it's the you know, this is your basics. Clear them all. What did I say? 4.4. So I do have to do two. 2.2 center. Make sure to hit set and 4.4 right and hit set, okay? Go to the next one. I know for the if for the even number page, you only have to do it once, but if I'm while I'm there, I might as well do it twice. What well, this being set both tabs in or out. So clear all, 2.2 center, set, always hit set, otherwise it doesn't count, 0.4 right and i don't need to do that for that page but that's okay boom and there we have it okay this doc this yes. that comes this document get a clean that is so for the rest of the document we'll do it once more with a new chapter do i have for the word chapter um Chapter six, okay, Lot, layout, break, next page, get rid of that return. Chapter six, style, heading one, right button, style, new paragraph, let's do, let's do the drop cap. See so again, nothing on the top, let me get rid of, so you don't see that. It's page 35. Okay. This is centered. It's centered to the, the text, not centered to the page, it's centered to the text. Okay. Because so this is how, this is what that page would look like. Okay. And you, it's perfectly balanced. And at the end of the day, that's all you really need for the headers. It's very complicated in a certain respect, but the more you do it, the more comfortable you will become. Now you could put your page numbers at the bottom, just doing the exact same thing. You see, I went into the footer and page number showed up and then I could put the page number in, I could center it. But for a book, I much prefer it in the, in the header. And that's all we have on that.